what is up people today I will be showing you how to make vector art with Gravit Gravit designer open up Gravit on your PC go over to create and create a new design navigate to the image you want to use and drag it over to Gravit designer in my case is it is an image of a lady what you want to do with this image is lock it so we won't disturb the image because everything will be what would be on top and aligned with this image and we won't want it to be moving around so to be on the safe side lock that layer the background layer now let's go ahead and create a path along the, the lady's face you know I like starting with the face because it's the identity of the person if you get something wrong with this part of the design it's it won't be the same so let's create a path along the face click on the path tool and make a path along the lady's face so click click and drag click and drag click and drag keep clicking and dragging to make parts now the hair is covering part of the face and for that part of the face I will just make a line just try to complete the shape it doesn't have to be perfect and I would complete the path by clicking at the starting point of that path it automatically gets filled with white so let's convert let's change the fill of this path to another color a human skin color that would be about brownish yellowish reddish something it's this is about a good color so this is more human let's go back to our pointer tool and keep editing so there's something else we want to know when we work with with um, gravity designer and we are making vector art as you can see this shape is covering our design is covering our background layer and we want to keep seeing the background layer so to fix that go to new layer drag the path into the new layer with this you can toggle outline so you can toggle the paths within the outline to show only the outlines of the path if that makes sense if i click on this it's going to show only the outlines of the paths within that layer so show do not show show do not show show do not show okay so let's call this layer face so it's going to contain everything about this lady's face this one is the outline of the face now let's go over to the outline of the lips in vector graphics we work with the outline of things <laughs> the outline of things let's make the outline of the lip the outline of the lip are you with me so make the outline of the upper lip the outline of the upper lip the outline of the upper lip now we are still within the face layer it is activated it is active now because this icon is now reddish I'll, I'll show you more about that later but let's complete this upper lip complete that joins it all up that is a path around the upper lip now let's make another one around the, the edges of the lower lip around the edges of the lower lip around the edges of the lower lip so we have upper lip lower lip notice that this part okay let's talk about that this part of the lower lip isn't showing 
because it is covered with the hand so there is no need to continue and make the entire lower lip so let's leave it at this I'll cover it up with the design of the hand let's change the color of the lips let's make it reddish so click shift click on both shapes click shift click toggle outline go to pick a color by clicking and shifting and clicking you could select more than one object and work with both of them at once so with with this I could move the two objects around I could change the colors of the two objects at once just undo that and make the lips red pick a color using this picker pick a color from anywhere on the canvas button okay let's give it this color now this is what it looks like we have face lip upper lip lower lip now let's continue toggle outline now let's make the outline of the hand now let's create a new layer and call it hand now I'm making layers over here enables you to group and arrange the different sections of your design so I could toggle the visibility of the face and still keep working with the hand layer so let's continue so the hand layer is selected like this it is red now so go to path tool and and uh, click along the edges of the hand this might be a bit tricky but stay with me stay with me click and drag complete so now we have a hand the hand is filled with white let's toggle the visibility of the face and make the hand the same color as the face so the hand is selected let's go to a pointer tool it is selected now if we use the picker we can pick the color of the face now the hand is the same color as the face it is covering the lower lip and covering part of the upper lip okay so there we have it hand face lips let's toggle and toggle the outline now let's make the eyebrows so select your face layer make sure it's selected reddish means it's selected go over to path click on the border of the eyebrow remember in vector art we work a lot with borders you can also work with the inside for details sub so select edit corners edit corner edit handle change the fill to black it won't be visible now during the toggle um, within while we're still using the toggle outline so we have a black eyebrow shall we and the other one part two part two part two Path to path to path to path to path to path to and let's make this black toggle outline two black eyebrows lips and face hey 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 now we have a face and hand Let's talk with visibility. Face and hand. Face has eyebrows, lips, hand layer has just the hand. Now let's let's toggle the outline 
of the face so we can see what's underneath now let's go ahead and make the glasses so go to your path tool and make the glasses shall we so click and drag and make the glasses now there's a trick I use instead of just making short parts as first close joints I make joints that are far apart then I add the detail later just click afar do not drag just click afar off and give it that general feel of a glass frame and now let's complete our path now let's go ahead and toggle the feel of that path and work with the border go to your sub select tool so you can edit so you can edit each joint now click on the joint this joint for example and make it symmetric the symmetric has handles so you can drag around and complete and smoothen out the path itself so click and drag around and make the path complete for parts that are complicated you can add a new joint and smoothen things out smoothing things out shall we for this other one make it symmetric adjust the handles and this other one again adjust handles make it symmetric adjust handles make this one symmetric and just handles and just handles Keep adjusting handles. Let's change this joint to disconnect it. Then we can bend this other handle just like that. Let's complete this frame and get over to the other parts of the image. Add a new point over there. Adjust, 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 move around, adjust, adjust. Now let's look at what we have. Bring back the visibility of the field. Now we have cool glasses. Let's make that black. Let's drag that down into the face layer. It still has toggle visibility on let's remove that and continue so I have um, black glasses black eyebrows red lips skin color yellow hand the face layer has the glasses as well inside it am I right okay now let's toggle visibility um, outline <clears throat> and make the inner part of the glasses so this lens and this other lens the same thing applies create a path and make random no not random <coughs> far joints around far joints click and drag to no sorry using sub select 
click and drag to select all these points convert them into symmetric and you can go ahead and edit you can go ahead and edit the anchors of that of these joints You know, graphic designers have really cool jobs. This is awesome. We get to design stuff, make masterpieces, and you are a cool dude or lady learning graphic design. Cool stuff. So we've made the left, the right lens of the lady's glasses. And let's make the other one. Create a new path. Make. <clears throat> far joints at first and complete it off then using sub select click and drag convert them all to symmetric click somewhere else click within to disable selection and <clears throat> let's get back and edit the handles edit the handles of each of each joint to make it along the lenses along along corner smooth corner smooth corner smooth corner something doesn't look very awesome let's let's leave it at that so let's toggle outline we have black black frame okay these lenses are still black let's let's make this white at the moment let's make this white and let's make this white there's something we want to do now we want to make hollows in the frame so click on the frame hold shift and click on the lens and go to subtract this subtracts the lens from the frame and makes a hole within the frame so before we continue let's just duplicate this layer so you can hit ctrl shift d on your keyboard duplicate this one ctrl shift d again and duplicate this other one and hide the duplicate hide this one and hide the other one click on the frame shift and click on this frame and go to subtract this subtracts the frame the lens from the frame click on the frame shift click on shift click on this lens and subtract this makes a hollow hollow glasses if you notice we have now a compound shape that is now a compound shape okay now let's toggle toggle outline we have glasses eyebrows lips okay and hand let's go ahead and make the nose when I'm designing nose noses I, I usually start with the nostrils so let's go ahead and make the nostrils so so I go outline this is what we have glasses face plain face now let's make the nose toggle outline and disable it make a path this is the path make it along the dark the part of the nose that is dark the part that is dark Mm. the darkest parts of the nostrils let's fill that with black shall we let's get to the other part the part that is black the darkest part so we give that feel of a nostril completed off drag we have a black shape now let's see what, what our design looks like so we have sorry 
you have the face and two nost nostrils and glasses face glass eyebrows nostrils lips and hand let's go over to the image now let's make the teeth shall we click on the path tool and make edges along the teeth this might be tedious but stay with me make a path along the teeth along the teeth so there are along the edges of the teeth in vector graphics we work a lot with teeth with <laughs> a lot with the edges of an image the edges of an image so to illustrate the teeth you'll be working with the edges of the teeth so the edges of the white part edges stay with me edges complete the part now let's see what we, what we have we have teeth hand lips and the rest our face is taking form now let's go ahead and and a neck oh, let's make a neck should we shall we yeah make it outlined and create a path along the neck now this path we are creating will later be placed beneath all the other layers that are in the face layer stay with me stay with me this is just cover this section of the neck let's make it visible so that is the neck you can send layers down or up you can bring them forward or send them backward backward using bring forward or send backward and you can the shortcut is control down to send down or control shift plus down will send it to the bottom of the layer so we've sent it to the bottom now let's go ahead and fill it with the same color as the face so we have now neck face lips teeth glasses eyebrows okay now let's go ahead and make the eyes the eyes let's toggle outline the eyes the eyes are really awesome let's start with the leads let's make this line this is just a line it should be fairly easy to make so just make a path not a single line but kind of like two lines let's fill that with black let's make this other line That is already filled with black. Let's double outline and see what we have. Okay. Mm, looks like she's laughing. Okay, now let's add the eyes itself. Click on the path. Click along the edges of the eye. We work a lot. With edges now don't worry about the eyelashes yet just make it along the eye we'd put the eyelashes later it will cover the imperfection along this area okay 
and complete it off. Then this other part. And complete it off. Let's see what we have. So go outline. Okay, it looks like she's in the avatar state. Not bad. Evil avatar. Now let's get back and turn on outline. Now let's create a circle. Ellipse. Okay. Shortcut E. Click and drag to create and hold shift to make. Click, drag. Click, hold shift and drag to make a perfect circle like this. Okay. Let's make that around the pupil. The same goes for this other part. Click and drag, hold shift to make a circle. Perfect circle. That okay, that looks perfect circle. Okay, click on the eye, shift, hold shift and click on the circle for the pupil and click clip. This places it within the boundary between within the border of the eye. So you have the shape inserted into the eye. Click on this eye, shift, click on the pupil, go to clip. This places it inside, inside that. Let's go ahead and toggle outline. Let's make the pupil black. Let's make this pupil black. Okay. Now we have a lady. Let me make this hand visible. So we have hand, lips, teeth, eyes, pupil, eyelids, eyebrows, glasses, face. Okay. Each and every single one of them are organized into layers. So we are working with the face and hand right now. Let's toggle the outline of the face and let's add eyelashes, shall we? Or shall we not? Yes, eyelashes. Click on your path and add eyelashes. Mm, eyelashes. Stay with me, stay with me. Stay with me. Mm, click. Drag, click, click, drag, click, click and drag, click, click and drag, click, 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 click and drag, click, click, click and drag, click and drag, click, click and drag, click, click, click and drag, click, click, click and drag, click. Click and drag, click, click and drag, complete path. Fill that with black. And the other part below. Click. Click and drag, click, 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 click and drag, click. Click, click and drag, click. Click, 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 click. Click and drag, now just click, 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 click. Okay, click, 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 click. That part isn't very visible, so I'll just go ahead and complete my part. Okay, this is what we have. Looks a bit scary, but stay with me. Let's reduce the opacity of this section. Remove the outline. Something is looking scary. Okay, let's go ahead, return to outline, make a circle, make it white, okay, that color is okay, clip it into the pupil, that is what we have, shall we continue, no, thank you, she reduced the color, the Opacity of that circle. Let's give it 39. Let's go over to the other eye and add eyelashes. 
click 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 and right click 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 I'm going to make this two different shapes so I would be able to change their opacities independently click and drag click and drag click and drag eyelashes really long eyelashes am I right click click complete shape give this a black feel now let's see what we have we have we have a face doesn't look that good at first but let's continue let's make this black but let's reduce the opacity of that let's reduce the opacity of that shall we and let's give this a circle to indicate to show the, the shine of her eyeballs let's shift and click both of them and give them a feel taking shape now isn't it now let's go ahead and add shades to the face and let's add shades to the face go ahead and toggle outline the face has shades on them part of the face is shiny shiny part is parts of it are darker Besides, this part is really dark. Let's go ahead and give her this dark part. So let's make a path along the slim path along this this dark area. So the dark area gets a path around it. Let's fill that with black no black is too 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 contrasty let's go over to the mixer so go to click on the fill go to mixer mixer gives you a range of colors depending on the color of that path so the shades of this light brown you have a shade let's remove the border and go back to our pointer tool that is all we have instead of black I have a shade of this other color okay stay with me now we are going to be adding details shades and lights let's go back to toggle outline and let's let's look at the dark area the dark areas of this image so stay with me and let's work on the dark areas of the image the areas that are dark we use darker colors the areas that are bright we use brighter colors this part looks dark let's go ahead and doesn't have to be perfect just make it along and around the dark area this part looks dark so I'd, I'd, um, go ahead and make a darkness around this area now there are different shades of darkness the really the dark areas the areas that are close to each other in terms of darkness would have a boundary around them so the area is selected have a relative closeness to uh, each other I know there is a really dark portion inside inside it so out I'll made a, I'll make another path within this path so I've made that one around the lighter darkness and let's make another one to show the darker darkness am I right okay this part is much darker so let's go ahead 
and make it dog. Stay with me, stay with me. Dog. Let's see what we have. I know that all white. So let's change the colors. This one should have, let's use the same color as this one. So pick this color. This one, let's pick this color, but let's reduce the opacity. Opacity, reduce the opacity. Now when we reduce the opacity, it, it gives us a kind of mixer of the color beneath and the one we are changing. So I want a lighter darkness. So I'll reduce the opacity, go to the color picker and pick the area again and return the opacity to 100. Then we have a lighter darkness, if you understand what I mean. Don't know if that makes sense, but we now have a lighter shade. Now let's select this and still make this the same shade as the other one and this the same the same shade. Let's remove the borders and remove the borders. So we have this and this and this shades. They indicate shades, shall we? So click on the face, click on this part, this dark part, and clip it. That makes it within. So clip and clip, clip and clip, clip on clip. Oh my goodness. So you have it within. So click on the face, shift and click on this one and clip it. Clip it. Clip it. Okay. Now it's taking form. Let's talk about line. You have that and that. Let's go ahead and make the rest of the darker part. So this area of the face is especially dark. So let's go ahead and make this dark. Go ahead and complete the path, shall we? And let's let's give this a color. And let's clip it into the face. And let's remove the outline, shall we? Okay. It's beginning to take form. Now let's go back to our outline mode. And let's... I think we've dealt with many of the dark parts, have we? Have we or have we not dealt with the dark part? Okay, this area is dark. Let's make a path around this area. Around this area. Stay with me. Around this area. This area is especially... No, not especially. This area is dark. Darker than the rest. Let's see what we have. So I've made this shape around and along the dark part. Let's fill it with that and uh, let's reduce its opacity. Let's pick this color. Let's reduce it. Let's return the opacity to 100. Remove border. Clip it into the face. So we have that, that and these shades. So these vector designs give it that 3D look, if I may say, it gives it that pop out feel. So let's keep on making and make it, let's keep on making shapes along the parts we see that are that are darker. Okay. This part is a bit dark okay now let's clip clip it into the face okay not bad not bad at all not bad at all not bad at all 
I think we have ourselves an awesome design. Let's go over to the lighter parts. So the brighter parts of the image will, give, will get their own shapes. So make that around the lighter parts of the face. This would be around the lighter parts of this section. So that section gets its own parts, lighter parts of this place. This is this seems lighter. This looks lighter. I mean, this part is also light. This is light. So just go ahead and make parts around. They are light, 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 light. Okay, let's see what we have. So we have these. This is light, these are light. Let's click and shift and click and sh press shift on your keyboard and keep clicking to so you yourself select it all that you require remove the border and make them the same color as the skin then return it and go over to tints tints give you a lighter shade of the color that you had before so keep clicking on tint so it's now lighter as we can see but I forgot to click on this one make it the same color as the rest remove border now let's clip clip all of them so click shift and click shift and click shift and click and clip all of them into the face so right now we have a face And there is something, 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 something. Let's go ahead and blur out some parts of the image. Let's make this blurry. So go to this effects blur, blur it out. Let's blur this one out. Click on it, add blur, blur it out. Click on this, click blur, blur it out. Let's reduce the opacity of that section. Let's blur this out. Let's reduce its opacity. Let's blur this out. Reduce opacity. Reduce opacity. Let's blur this out. And reduce opacity. Okay, so we have um okay I forgot to clip this one. So let's clip this one into the face. Now there's something else. To click on a layer that is on that is beneath another layer. So let's say you wanted to click on um let's say this particular layer. You see this white shape beneath this lighter shape beneath. You wanted to click on it, but there is something else on top of it. If you want to click on it, hold shift on your keyboard and click. Keep clicking till you get to that shape now we've gotten to that shape and we can keep editing it so i wanted to add a blur to it and reduce its opacity nice now we have a face with some shades on it now let's also add a blur to this dark section let's reduce opacity a bit let's add a blur to this section 
let's reduce its opacity or reduce blur reduce opacity shall we so then I have a face a face eyebrow eyelashes nice now let's toggle outline okay let's add the shiny part of the glasses there's a reflective part of the glasses so add let's go ahead and make this triangular shine this other one that is not that shiny but still triangular another one another one there is something else this one makes a bit shiny this one looks a bit blurry struggle visibility this is what we have so go ahead click shift click shift click shift click shift click shift click it is all opacity and that is all we are left with and this is what we have okay now let's collapse the face and go to the hand layer toggle outline for the face toggle outline for the hand now we want to add shades to the hand now make paths around and along the dark parts of the hand shall we quickly make paths around and along the darker areas of the lady's hand around the darker parts of the lady's hand That is a dark part and there is another one over here. So with, with vector graphics you would just make you would just represent each shade with a color with them um, a path. We'll click that one later. You would just represent each section, each shade so that you can form the image later so let's change let's add a path for this section as well keep making a path round and along and done now let's go ahead and see what our hand looks like so this is what it looks like remember we made paths around the darker areas of the hand so let's go ahead shift click and select the other areas the end all the shapes that indicate the darker areas of the lady's hand let's make them a normal human color brownish yellowish and add shades to it now let's clip all of them to the hand let's also remove the border of these shapes let's reduce the opacity of all of them All right, so that is all we have. Let's toggle outline. Now let's add more shades to the lady's hand. More shades, more shades.
you see what that looks like so this is a dark color the opacity clip it into the hand send it behind to the back then let's increase the opacity of these other ones let's also increase let's also increase this line look like that much better should use the opacity of this <coughs> and we have a hand fingers let's add a nail create a new path and make it along the edges of this nail complete it control shift down send the nail to the bottom of that layer remove the fill of the nail and pick the color from the photo and this is what you have are we missing anything are we missing anything all right and let's return that so we have a hand and a face let's give the hand an outline let's increase the border let's also increase the border of the face let's give it three the hand is border three lips border three all right now what is remaining is the hair let's go ahead and make the hair for every other layer make them outlined so go outline then create a new layer call it hair for the hair we would be making two different layers this part this hair this side of the hair would be on another, a different layer and this one on another layer so this one let's call it left hair let's call this one let's call another layer right hair oh for the hair on the left our left let's go ahead select that layer and make a path now this new path is created will be created within the left hair layer so create that path that section created now notice the glass is underneath part of the hair if you get what I mean this part of the hair is covering this frame this glass frame so let's return and create the second part of the hair part of it is covering the ear okay now we've created <coughs> this section of the hair and this upper section of the hair let's complete it with the last section of the hair the one around the neck, the neck along the neck let's just make a random or not let's delete that for now bring this one to the front control shift up to bring it forward or just use bring forward over here and that is what you have toggle outline and fill this with that color brownish color fill this with a piece of brown this is what you have 
then let's make the other the right section of the hair <coughs> select this layer and create and just draw a path around this part of the ladies hair Alright, let's drag this entire layer beneath every other layer so it is beneath. So if we went ahead and made the other layers visible, this hair would be underneath all of them. That is That was my target. So let's go ahead and make that an outline and fill that path with this color let's return that and this is what we have let me remove the background layer for a moment now there is a section of the hair that is over here let's just create a path to fill up that section and fill it with this color send it to back all right almost done almost done now we've gone a long way on our project let's go ahead and add details to the hair because it looks plain toggle outline for the hair the right section of the hair and begin to add details and the different shades on the hair we won't we won't add every single one of them but we will give a general feel of the hair so stay with me closely create the darker parts darker shade around the hair these darker parts darker section or well, there are a lot of dark parts along the hair but let's just go ahead and give them that feel just make a path around and along the darker parts of the hair complete it complete the part and go ahead and make hmm, Let's make, let's see what the hair looks like first. This should be, that should be dark. This should be light. Let's give this a lighter brown color. And let's see what we have. We have, this is too dark. Let's reduce that and pick a color. We turn it to 100 change or remove border okay good 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 let's go ahead and return to outline add a path around the lighter path parts of the hair as well not every single it doesn't actually have to be every single part light parts of the hair to get to give to get the message across but as much as you can do as much as you have time for just keep making lighter parts this one looks slimmer let's make a lighter part so i'll stop there for this tutorial lighter parts of the hair let's make them that color increase the tint a little bit remove borders make it the same color as the rest remove border for that one as well and you have a hair let's make this same color 
I should need water for that one as well. Okay. And let's get over to this section of the hair. This section of the hair belongs to the left layer, left hair layer. Let's double outline for the face because it's covering part of the hair we, we want to work with. Toggle outline. Now, there are a lot of light parts on this section of the hair. So let's go ahead and add some light parts to the hair. Let's make this dark. Okay, that is dark. That is dark. Move outlines. Those parts are light. Mm. Let's give this this color. Sorry, I want the other. Let's make the hair uniform. Let's give this a bit of that color and let's give this that color. This will have that color mix. Clip this to that. Give this color to that. Give this dark color. All right. Let's bring back the face. So we have hair, hand, face, neck. Let's see what our our design looks like. To export around the area needed okay there's something i missed let's make these that color remove border that color remove border almost forgot the earrings Hair, left hair, earring, ellipse circle for this part of the earring. A darker section for the ear. Where are you working with? Okay, okay. All right. Toggle visibility. Center back. Turn this back. Make these a bit silver, silver ish. Let's make that grey. Uh, 
Let's bring every other layer back. There's a little shine to the earring. Let's add it. There's a little shade around the ear. Shade. Give me a border. Clip it to the ear. Make this a little shiny. Lighter. Remove border. Let's go ahead and make lighter area for that section darker for a small section over here let's move the two of them into the face layer make that visible this was darker shade this was a lighter shade Let's blur this and blur this as well. Let's also add a border for the nose. So just create a path along the corner of the nose see what that looks like give it a black fill remove border adjust adjust path Toggle our line for face, return that.
congratulations guys you've learned how to create a vector illustration with the gravit now let's get over to the exporting section so you want to export this image if you just went ahead to click on this export button it's going to show the areas of this image you do not need so to fix that let's go ahead and use the slice tool it slices off the parts you don't need and shows the parts you need so click and drag and place your slice within around the areas you you want to export when you're done go to add make exportable and go to export then you can save it let's save it as lady vector illustration 2 okay that is done i'm done thank you for watching guys if you like this video please go ahead and subscribe for more tutorials if you had any question about this tutorial or there's anything i explained but not very clearly please go ahead and let me know in the comment section Thank you.